So this listener says, I have a job opportunity coming up that I've been waiting for for a long time. Only problem, the company's offering me the role it's based out in Finland. It's my dream job, but it means moving to a country I don't know and have no connections to, let alone know the language. Do I wait and pray that something comes up in the UK or do I uproot my life and take the chance in another country? Many thanks. Wow. That's huge. I would go for it. I mean, mean, as long as you don't have anything tying you here. Like, if you're a young man, how? why would you not, you know? Um, I get, like, family stuff, like, if you don't want to uproot, you know, a wife and kids. But if you're all alone, do do you guys know this man personally? No, 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 no. No. No, He's he's written in a few times, and is this a regular listener? No, he's a fresh. Oh, it's a new one. Yeah. I mean, fresh one. That's one of those like life experiences that'll define you as a person as you get old. Mm. Like, yeah, I, I worked in Finland. I became a Finn for a couple of years. So cool. <laughs> but then there's that like if he's like, oh no, I can't do it. I don't know what the job is, but the jobs in the UK are shit. And like if he missed out on it and down the road he's like, I should have bit the bullet. You know what I mean? He's done it. Yeah, I think I think if he goes into it, gets the experience in the role, then you can pick up one. Um, or a similar job here, mm-hmm. easily done. If Is he's the already job got the market experience really in the bad world. over there right now. Oh, it's crap. It can be, yeah. yeah Especially yeah. in Scotland. Scotland's dire I guess it is compared to England. Even though they want independence, and we've got no jobs, no no oil, no electricity. <laughs> <laughs> like... Yeah. What, what was that all about? That that big referendum. What was that? They about? basically feel that they can do it on their own, but they've sold everything. Mm-hmm. So all of our all of our turbines or wind turbines that they're really happy about are owned by like the French. They like, Oh, we've got oil reserves, but they won't touch them. Right. I mean, you've got no revenue that the banks were like, you're not going to be allowed to use the pounds. You're going to have to use your own, your own thing. And then they're like, we want to be on our own, but as soon as we leave the UK, we're going to join the EU. It's like, well, that's more people than the one it's country. The, yeah. Leave. Right. It's the anti Brexit thing. Yeah. So it's like, but it will never fucking happen. I, I, I think, um, did, did, were they receiving like tons of benefits from being in the EU, just the Scots themselves? They I, received I remember of... when Brexit happened. Scotland was overwhelmingly to stay in. Yeah. yeah. Because England yeah. Was, was out. Um, they, they had a big to do, and correct me if I'm wrong, uh, with this whole Scottish independence thing. There was like a big thing with, with su- nuclear submarine bases. That scarf of flow in like Scotland and stuff, right? Yeah. Do you guys yeah. know about this? I don't yeah. know about that. No. Like the... yeah, there was a, there was a lot of things around. Uh, there's a military base up in the islands as well, which mm-hmm. was under. We've got uh, under British. Mm. I, I I think NATO uses the naval bases in Scotland to kind of monitor what the Russians do in the in the mm. Arctic Sea. And oh. if if Scotland was to uh, go independent, it would jeopardize that. So mm-hmm. there may be some global influences, you know, dictating what the Scots are allowed to get away with as far as... Uh, it's just, the whole thing leaving. baffles me. Because it's like, if you ask a Scottish person about England giving them money, they're like, no, they don't. But then during COVID, the first lockdown was, you know, everyone was involved. And then uh, Sturgeon actually went on the on the radio and she was like, oh yeah, there'll be a second lockdown. It, we need it. But she'll be like, there's only going to be a second lockdown if England can pay for it. Oh. So it's like, nice. well, how can you say that we don't get, they don't get any money when you're like, well, we can't do a lockdown. Everyone's life's at risk unless someone's like, oh, here you go, here's a bit of some money. So it's- the independence thing is really weird because my dad is from Ed- from Scotland, from Edinburgh, mm-hmm. and um, he's lived in England. We always take the piss. We say he's basically English now. He's lived in England for like thirty years. Does he hate? But that? he's still got. He hates it. Yeah. <laughs> the Scottish people hate English people. <laughs> and uh, my dad's like, oh, "When I'm going to vote for them to be independent?" I was like, "Dad, you've been living fucking Luton for the last thirty years. You can't <laughs> vote for independence." I said there'll be a hard border. That's one of the things they tried to avoid is doing a hard border. Mm-hmm. And um, it could be a potential for another Nor- Northern Ireland situation and they didn't oh, want to do it. Right. So yeah, 
That would be 20 years of movie. fucking war, wouldn't it? It won't <laughs> happen. Internal war. It won't happen. It, it's... I, I mean, there were a lot of people saying that the the UK as it exists wouldn't survive Queen Elizabeth, her death. You know, um, she seemed to be, at least symbolically, the thing holding the whole place together. I mean, you guys... You guys tend to hate each other for long periods of time over there. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, we hate everything. We, we even hate different day, towns hate, hate each other. Day. Yeah. <laughs> everything is like, oh, we wish it was hot, and then when it's hot, they're like, fuck, this sucks. I wish it was cold. It's 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 just a turmoil. Life what's is turmoil. The, um, what's the current uh, feeling on the streets about uh, the monarchy? Uh, well, it's uh, basically finished in Scotland. <laughs> really, it's it's very divided. Yeah, yeah there's no people like me who do Charles not give like... a shit about. Um, that basically the monarchy are just like a a tourist trade for for people like me. Mm. But there's some people that are really into them. Like they go and fucking camp outside Buckingham Palace and shit like that because they're obsessed and they wear like right. badges on their hats and shit. They're just fucking mental. But there's yeah, a big yeah, divide. I mean, that's, that's like the uber traditionalists, right? Like, yeah. The, mm. uh, the nationalist folks. Um, I don't know. I mean, it, it's as an American, we tend to look at it as, as, as an archaic thing that doesn't need to exist. But part of me, like I've, I've been an Anglophile my whole life. I, lo- I love England. My grandmother instilled that in me. I, I grew up with stories about the blitz. Mm-hmm. And I don't know. Part of, part of me is, is I, I, I always admire from afar, the the monarchy. I want it. I want it to continue. I I, I miss the empire. You know. Oh, me too. <laughs> I, I get rid of was... the fucking parliament. I can get to fuck. Give it back to the well. Except not yeah. Charles is a Charles is a fucking loon bag. I wouldn't give it to him. But Elizabeth should have been. She was top notch. Um, but yeah, no. I, Finland's a really nice place. Like, yeah, there's not a lot depending on where you end up. Like, we have. I have a mate that lives in Finland. Nicest fucking guy. Like, yeah, I'm quite happily. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's a lot of great of those... bands in Finland. A lot of great. There are definitely, yeah, there absolutely <laughs> are. I I still reckon it would like friends and that should be supportive anyway. But like family are always going to be supportive. They're not going anywhere. Mm-hmm. I mean, if you go for a year or two, the language is nothing because if they're hiring from out of Finland in other countries, there's going to yeah, be loads of people of there. Anyway. Yeah, so I can imagine a... Finland would be very much like Amsterdam is yeah. very much. Uh... Everyone speaks with an American accent because they all watch TV all the time, American shows all the time. <laughs> a lot so I can imagine English. Finland's like that. <laughs> Does that really yeah, that happen? happens. Yeah. Wow. Can you guys do an American accent? No. When I was in, uh, <laughs> when I was in Amsterdam, I was, I was smoking a lot of weed because weed's legal over there. And we, me and the boys there. were yeah. absolutely stoned. And we were walking around, and I was convinced that we were in America for about twenty minutes because no <laughs> one spoke. <laughs> no one spoke with a fucking Norwegian accent at Gosh. all. <laughs> all the clogs going around. But yeah, no, I um, I think it's a, a no-brainer for me anyway because I know, depending on what your situation in the UK, it's not really great over here. And if a job mm. job opportunity comes up that you really, really want, then yeah, I mean, there's not much stopping you. Like, they, unless you said, like, you've got kids, they've got. That would be the only school. thing to hold yeah. someone back, you know, a wife and kids. Otherwise, what are you doing? Go. Yeah. Try Drop something on the fucking new. plane already. Yeah. You know what I mean, it's Finland. It's not like you're going to, you know, someplace horrible. It's... <laughs> oh, it's gonna yeah, be true. absolutely Helsinki's beautiful. probably nice. Can you imagine it? And then when it's like really fucking snowing, everyone just gets together and gets blitzed. Right? Yeah, the, I'm sure the place just shuts down. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, they basically just huddle together for warmth and just get fucking prompt. <laughs> like I, think, I think it's far enough north where it's like one of those places that's dark six months of the year. Too. Yeah, so- and, and, and that's another reason just to get drunk. They are drunk right. all the fucking time. It's amazing. <laughs> and um, my mate that who's Finnish, all the places there, like his apartment block and that, had like saunas. He just he was like, oh yeah, no, I booked the sauna. I can't talk. I've got to be gone in like ten minutes. And I'm like, all right. <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah, like, why the yeah. Fuck so it's gonna... only it's only a three hour flight from London. Yeah, thirty three quid return. There you go. That's not bad I might join you, mate. Might come out yeah. for a day. That's yeah. like me going to Florida. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so get off your fucking ass and do it. Yeah. Unless obviously there's another reason. Then that's another email for another time. But mm. do it. No reason why you shouldn't do it. 